Say what's up to the camera. Back away. This is Red Barn Builds. We're going to pick up a new project. Just you wait. I told you it was a surprise. Say hello. hello. Josh, welcome to the channel. Thank you. This is Red Barn Builds. So, a little surprise that we got coming onto the channel. For all you American loving, uh, Bud Light hating people out there. We got some, uh, we got some American muscle in here. Oh yeah. We got the Mustang. The 5.0. It's a... 2016 Ford Mustang GT Premium with the 5 O Coyote motor in it. And supposedly it has rod knock. Um, we're taking the valve covers off right now to check the rockers. We already took the covers off, the intake box off, the straw tower brace. We're gonna take the valve covers off and then we're gonna check the check the lifters because it doesn't sound like rod knock, it sounds like lifter noise. And hopefully it is. Otherwise, we're taking the pan off on the bottom, checking the rods. So, yeah. Big ass 5 0 coyote right there. With all the carbon fiber. Oh, yeah, the car has 13,000 miles, also. Oh, yeah. Also, this thing has. The Wildwood big brake upgrade. Some fat boys. With some big, meaty, what are they? Three oh fives on this on the back. Some big fat boys. With a nice Corsa exhaust. It's pretty nice. Ah, working on a Mustang for ya. Get a little blood, sweat, and tears in it. All right, so we got the valve covers off, got the coil packs back in. You can see that's what dual overhead cams look like. Those are the that's the phaser. These are the phasers. And that's the VCT sensor right there, solenoid on the end of the phasers. I don't see anything out of the ordinary though so far. I see no metal. Here's the original. Yeah, that's. There's metal, I don't know what from. Basically, we're going to start it up with the valve covers off and see if we can't see any lifters or hear any no lifter noise with a long screwdriver trick. And put it up to your ear. You can listen. So, we're going to see if we hear or see anything weird. timing chain which I didn't think of, duh. So we're gonna have to make a splash guard That's or something. Great. You can't run it wide open, but I can tell you that that ticking doesn't even sound like it's coming from the top end. Back 
back on you're trying to take a listen with the screwdriver. It's, it's what do you want to do with the golf No good for your mental status. How we go about doing it, I don't care, but this motor has got to come out of the car one way or another. That Dude, is too tight. I really just don't want to take this engine out. I, I don't know how to check them. Do you? Get the computer. Dropping the oil pan. I mean, we dropped the oil pan. We then confirm or deny their diagnosis. Dropping that pan is like, it's a lot of work, and I don't even know if we can get the pan out. That's the thing. Well, it's back together. Put the valve covers back on. Put it, connect, connected everything back up. Um, What is it, Josh? What do we think it is? It's a rod knock. Say that again. It's a rod knock. It's a rod knock. It has a rod knock. So, American Muscle, I mean, some would say that uh, that stands for found on road dead or fix or repair daily. So, sounds great though. Um, so I guess the next step is the dealership wants 10500 for a new engine. To put it in, they put it in on uh, three grand probably, four grand. But this is Red Barn Builds. So, uh, I think what we're going to do is yank that bad boy out of this thing. And check it out. Check out the bottom end. Check out the rods. See what's going on down there. If it's got rod knock, check out the crank. Check out the rods. Check out the, I mean, check out the bearings. You know, all the bottom end components and if it's not too bad replace the crank maybe replace the rods and the bearings depends what it looks like and then put it back together and throw it back in the car but depending on what we find it might be just completely messed up and maybe new engine but that is a bag so red barn builds is going to try and fix her up Go America! Yeah, well, on to that.